like 14. You do? Yeah, I really do. Why? Because I uh, tried to get into middle schools and they never let me. You never, <laughs> you never did that. Uh, did you go to school? I went to school. Um, not a lot of it. I dropped out of high school to be an actor, which always works out. Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of that going wrong. No, I think everyone should just try it. Yeah, well, I, 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 school's a waste of time. It's really, like, honestly, not joking, it's a waste of time. And what's even more of a waste of time when their parents spend thousands and thousands of dollars for just throwing money down the drain. Yeah, especially if you were like, I want to be an actor. Like, why are you going to school then? Yeah, parents should just call it right when you say that and just say, okay. Like, like honestly, play continue. the part where you say that 23 is ancient and then tell them they should go to acting school. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah. So you left school at what age? 14? 17. 17. Yes. In California? Uh, from Philadelphia. That's where you're from? Yes. I see. That's all. That explains a lot. Does it? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> so what was your first movie? It was called Ceremony. I made it a few years ago. Uh, it was also in theaters. Um, but uh, this one's in more theaters. So you're moving up. How much did it cost you? Is that we made this for very little money. We made this for like half a million dollars. We shot it in 15 and a half days in the San Fernando Valley. And it's very hot. It was really hot. It was in the summer you were shooting yeah. it? Yeah. And um, we're really proud of it. And, and it's exciting that people are finding it and, and um, going to see it. When you make a, lo a movie on a low budget, pardon, do people get, uh, is there a lot of uh, people getting pissed off? It's annoying. I, I hate asking people for favors yeah. anyways, and so it's tricky. The food is very, very, very bad. Like for Cheese. for crafts for for second lunch we would divide a gusher into thirty seven pieces. It was like a really bleak scene in the uh craft service situation if you people call it get that. upset when when it's when yeah they want like, pizza it gets to be annoying they're like what am i doing this for for nothing yeah uh, the actors were I, we had a really good crew and and set and i feel like everyone was well behaved and really actually had a good time for the most part i was yeah. on the gusher diet already what's yeah. gusher diet it's a fruit snack with with juice in it you like cut you eat a gusher and it gushes in your mouth it's really really vile but it's a sensory experience and a snack yeah it's um, it was the first umami <laughs> <laughs> like early early stage a what you know it's like 10 <laughs> 10 feelings at once when you bite into like one it's the other taste yeah. tsunami in your mouth yes <laughs> It's starting to sound like porn. It, it's a gusher. It's unfortunately there's a lot of parallels to be drawn. Yeah. And dirty looks over here. You guys are swearing. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's <okay. laughs> so um, I I got like uh, twenty minutes of it. I was watching it on my phone. Oh, again. good. That's how we that's how we intended it to be watched. Yeah. We shot the movie, and when we were shooting it in the summer and the heat, make sure we were saying, we were saying, remember that somebody in Culver City is going to be watching 20 minutes of this on a cell phone, on a flip phone. Well, I was in Beverly Hills. Actually. Make it count. Okay, good. Uh, if make that it makes count. Any different. How were the, how were the 20 minutes? Do you have any notes? We could go was back. Was it the in. first 20 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Did you like what I did? Yeah. Yeah. There, there, you're, there's three girls. Yeah. Did you like my performance? Um, yeah. You had a. You had a plaid shirt on i don't think that's true i don't think i think you were around your waist Juno. around your waist yes, you did He's did right. i yeah you, See? you're right okay i blacked out during See? the filming we all did uh, i'm the idiot now no yeah. you're not no yeah you no loved what i did idiot. i'm very i see every, uh, details yeah and the other girl was with the frizzy air yep. yes from israel yeah and then uh is the other girl the lead yeah, well, well yeah. You're all, you're all in it. They're most, all most the leads. The scenes. Yeah, I heard the other girl is named Zoe, and the the frizzy haired girl is a really talented actress named Maya, and and Dylan uh, is with us, still and, with us. And I'm still alive. You all live here. All the birds. Yeah. You're from LA. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah I'm I'm from LA. Zoe, one of the actresses, is from LA. Maya was not, and Dylan is from um, Pennsylvania. What made you get into directing? It was one of the very few things I saw a future in. I, was you I, acting before that? No, I'm very bad at acting. I'm not good at most things. You didn't uh, want to do Happy Days Part 
20? I don't know if that there's an audience for it anymore, especially <laughs> not with me. I'm genuinely bad at acting. That's not true. I guarantee you, you're probably great at no, acting. No, it's that's what you think, and that's what I secretly think, but I'm actually not. Like, I secretly am like, of course I'd be good at acting. Like, I can get by on this. Like, this is so much better than directing. And then someone's like, do it. And I go in and I do it, and I, I, I'm horrified by what I see. I'm totally self-conscious yeah. and and Semitic looking, and I just look. But terrible. a lot of people are like that, even if they're good actors. Right. I think I I don't like to play the nebbish. I I really want to play like the hunk, the Gosling part, but that's not. I'm not carved for that. Well, you can just make sure other little people are in the movie with you. <laughs> <laughs> Actors are tiny already. I know. I could wear lifts. Tom Cruise wear, uh, supposedly wears lifts. Or stands on an orange box. Right. A lot, that was the old thing, right? Right. But a lot of people are small in, in, in the movie world. Yeah, Alan Ladd, you know, who yeah, played yeah, Shane. Yeah, he, he was the orange box guy. They had to make exactly. doors extra small for him. Um, it's so funny, I guess right? I just don't have that in the budget yet, but hopefully eventually I can. I'd love to <laughs> someone to cast me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Little and big heads as well. A lot of actors have big heads. Yeah. I have a huge head. Do you? As a baby, my mom had to cut holes in my clothes because it wouldn't fit over my head. Is that true? That's true. You really... It doesn't look... It doesn't look big. You seem Thank totally you. proportional What now. size is your head? Do you know I mean, what size? I've never measured it. you got to measure it. Yeah. I um, just have a big face. Like, I have a big face. When I see pictures of myself, I'm like, it's half it. Half that face. Try, try this out on. It's going to fit me because it looks uh, like a big no, head. No, because... Uh, take well, take, take, take your fingers off just for a second. Now, see, you've got a sm lot smaller head than me. How tall are you? I'm 5'6". Okay. Now my headphones are okay. Now you've okay. messed it up. All right. Thank so, you for that. So, um, yeah, a lot of actors, big heads, small small people with big heads. Yeah. I think I have a big head. Do I have a big head? No, no you way, have a man. Head. Okay, good. Come on. Get You're off, really delicate get off the bandwagon with the big head thing. <laughs> I think I just want to get discovered as an actor, so I just wanted to... I think it's because I got attention for the head thing, and now yeah, you're trying to replicate I didn't it. like it. Excuse me? Um, I met your dad before. He's the sweetest guy ever. Yeah, he really is. Is he really a nice guy when he's at home? Did he used no. to be, beat you? Yeah, he beat... He beat... He was bad. He's a bad, bad boy. Why do you think he's in the entertainment industry? Do you yeah. think he had good parents? <laughs> no, he actually had a very complicated relationship with his parents because they had escaped sort of Nazi Germany, and all of their friends and everyone they knew had died. Um, through a subsequent flu epidemic that had gone on, not by the Nazis. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, the Nazis <laughs> killed them. Uh, like, they actually just gotten bad sinus infections. Um, and uh, they were miserable their, his whole life, and he couldn't even listen to his Rice Krispies and, uh, without getting kicked. Like, it was really fucked up. And because of uh -oh. that... Oh, sorry, am I not allowed to say that? No. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. And... It never work again, kid. Um, and... He did the opposite, obviously, and is so kind and nice and joyful and is like Chauncey Gardner from being there and just positivity. And so now I now have had to take on the role of being mean and yeah. cold and withholding. It skips a generation. Yeah. I don't get that. I don't get that you're a mean dude. I'm not mean, but I am withholding. What does that mean? Withholding what? Money? Emotions. No, I'm very generous, probably too generous and reckless with money. I don't see that. Really? It's a really... I'm kidding. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> you seem like you have good instincts. Though. I do. Are you guys going to kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I got that impression. Because <laughs> I looked him up and down. It felt charged. It was really sexual. <laughs> we should play a long song and see what happens. Let's play um, Dire Straits, Skate Away. You know why we're playing that song? Because it's long? Because he talks about making movies in it. Oh, great. So it's, it, there's a, lot, a little connection. Okay. We're here with Max Winkler and Dylan... Galula. That's what I said. Jonesy's jukebox. You Galloway. have good skin. Yeah, I've been hearing that. Actually. You never you, you never lie out, do you? It doesn't agree with my... Um, You're kind of a redhead. Judaism. I am. You're a ginger. I am. It shifts. And the worst part about my hair is it changes with the seasons and people are thinking I dye my hair, which I have to tell them <laughs> I'm not. But he's just redheaded enough. Yeah. Nothing crazy, nothing violent. No. I, and I don't really have freckles. But, that, um, that's because you don't lie out in the sun. Right. You right. get freckles if you lie out in the sun. Right. Right. You're not, you're not a full-on redhead. You're kind of off. Yeah. Off. My mom is a full redhead. My sister's a full redhead. And my dad uh, doesn't have red hair. Is he dark or did he dye his hair in happy days? No, he had dark hair. Yeah. 
he's naturally dark. Yeah. Now he's naturally grey. Yeah. I got. I had a picture taken with him at the uh, uh, thing of books down in USC mm. a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. I guess he had a book there or something. He yeah. was getting carted around in one of them trolleys. An elitist. And I got a picture taken with him in the trolley. That's nice. He was very friendly, though. He's unbelievably sweet. Yeah. He never has bad days where he's just like, I don't want to deal I mean, with him. I mean, he anymore. may, it probably goes straight to the dog. Because it ain't normal, Skips is it, to be nice? Skips the kids and probably goes straight to the lab. He beats the dog. Yeah. Just a rolled up, a rolled up Hank Zipser <laughs> book. <laughs> straight to the labradoodle. So, um, um, Dylan. Yeah. What do you think about um, that march last week? Was you in, in on that? You were against it. I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, tell us. You marched against it. I <laughs> look, just because I brought a gun here doesn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, look, I don't think people should be shot by guns. I don't. I'll, yeah, no. You know what? I'll say it. I think, I think, I don't think you anyone wants to be privileged little. Bleed millennial. Skunk. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if Jill Stein was present, I'm so sorry. <laughs> was you in on it? Did you go marching? Um, I actually didn't, but it's just because I've been really sick. That sounds like such a lie. Yeah, you don't sound sick to me. She was I've, sick. I've been on antibiotics for like seven weeks. Did you have the flu that was going around? I had the flu that turned into a sinus infection, and I usually get bronchitis. It's also a Judaism thing. We uh, tried, she was she was very sick. We tried to send her to New York for the movie, and she couldn't go because she was so sick. It's true. I have the immune system of like a I premature infant. Me too. I Me have too. the worst. I had that flu for a couple of months. It was terrible. Yeah. Let's go and visit the Duke when we come back. Some more stories about the movie Flower. Thank you. The KLOS Super. KLOS. That was Blondie. Rip it to shreds. My my guest Max Winkler. And Dylan Delula, how are you? Happy to be here. You got your movie out, Flower. Yeah. When's it at the um, Art Light? Currently. How long's it been? As now? we speak, this will be its third week. Is that good? I think so. Yeah, I think it's outperforming um, what people Star thought Wars? it would. Yeah, we just beat Star Wars, which is great. Yeah. And to we we're both not humble about it. Yeah, that's a big cinema, isn't it? Yeah. So do you check, or do people no. give you a heads up? Oh, we, we, it was full up. Oh, no, I empty. can't. I, I don't like to get concerned with anything quantitative. Dr drive yourself crazy. Yeah, right? I have. A, I am already mentally unstable, and to start to get into specifics, I, I try to, the second I'm done with it, part ways with it as best I can, and sort of surrender myself to other people's interpretations of it, and whatever it does, doesn't have any impact on my experience making it. Yeah. If I can. But I'm also in lots of therapy and hanging on for dear life. You're doing good, kid. Okay. Don't worry about I'm it. I'm praying for you. Thank you. My thoughts and prayers are with you. Thank you. Oh. I've read, I've seen articles that it's doing really well that my dad sends me because he has a Google alert for me. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like your demographic is young people, right? Yes. Which is hard to track because it's hard to market to those people and to know what works and if those people go to the movies or not but so far they have and we go and travel all around and do these q and a's and stuff and it, people seem to be really excited and which makes us happy because we worked hard on it yeah and it only cost a little bit of dough yeah which is even more sweet yeah now do you think a lot of young people don't go to the movies i don't know I, and i don't really get caught up in the sort of doomsday conversations about our theater's dead or I just feel like it'll work out what, how it's supposed to and I, I'm constantly being dragged into those conversations about like how do we get people to the movies it's like I I just you just gotta keep making stuff and it'll go, go where they're supposed to you? all the time I'll go I mean I saw Lady Bird in the theater I get the screeners and I still go to the theater because yeah. I love that you like the big screen yeah I mean I, I and movie I don't think I'd rather see a movie like Lady Bird or Get Out or the Florida Project in a theater than even a like a superhero movie or something like yeah. that because I there's something about that shared experience that also I have debilitating ADD so it's hard for me to watch things at home. Do you text in the movie theaters? No, I don't. I really try to respect those rules. That that's annoying, right? If someone's in front of you with the yeah. bright light. Yeah, people. And are, then you say something and it's all over you. You're looking at the screen, but you're focusing on. Beat, beating the person up. Yeah, but I text when I watch movies at home, and That's uh, out of order. I don't like it. I know, I know, I know. That poor dog has I know. to suffer that. I know. 
the one that gets beaten. No, that's my dad's dog. My oh, dog, so it ain't with you. My dog is okay. uh, is a terrorist. What about you, Dylan? I like seeing movies in theaters. Um, I don't really like movies, yeah. so what I'm forced. But then once I'm sitting there watching them, I'm happy I'm watching them. Yeah. Um, I'd, if I'm home, I'd rather be doing something else. Like what? Uh, reading. Knitting. Uh, no. <laughs> reading what? A novel. You really do? <laughs> no, sure. I don't really like watching TV or movies at home. Huh. So maybe I'm maybe I'm doing some light stretching. Yeah. Okay. What are you reading right now? I just finished my first graphic novel, which I never thought I would enjoy, but my brother sent it to me for my birthday about uh, Rosa Luxemburg. Uh, the she's a big socialist leader. Uh, that sounds right up your alley. Yeah, uh, it was great. It was very cool. It was called Red Rosa. And I was like, all right, a comic book kind of. Oh, mm. Interesting. That's all you got. Uh, all right, and then I finished that and I just started play it as it, <laughs> play it as it lays the Joan Didion That's book. That's a really good one. It's super depressing. Yeah. I don't know if I like it yet. What else you been in? What else have I been in? Movies. Uh, movies. Uh, there's one coming out soon called Support the Girls. Um, I was in this movie called First Girl I Loved. Uh, I'm on Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt mm -hmm. on Netflix. Um, I'm on IMDb. Do you, do you learn lines easy? Yeah. You, that's you very seem easy. like you could. You're, yeah. you're very. I get that. I'm too smart to be an actor, but too vain to do anything else. Yeah. Too lazy to do anything. <laughs> too lazy else. to do anything that requires real thought. Yeah. So where else is it uh, playing then? I think oh, is it all over America or yeah, just big cities? I think it's all over America this week. My parents saw it in Philadelphia. What'd they think? Did they they have... loved it. And they said the theater laughed a lot. Did they have any notes? Um, just that I should have been in every shot. Right. Have yeah. them forward me their thoughts. So okay. Go back in. God, they would make love some that. tweaks. Well, in the 20 minutes, you are in it a lot with, yeah. with the other. She's a real um, star of them. I mean, people really respond um, very positively to Dylan. Well, why does it sound a bit of paper starring Zoe? Well, because there's Zoe Deutsch is in actually every scene She's of the movie the and is a brilliant, movie. brilliant actor. <laughs> She's really good. And Dylan plays Zoe's best friend, and that Zoe's on the poster. Is yeah. it is it is it raunchy all the way through? I like I, like I said, I got my twenty yeah. minutes. That's all you need. It's not. It's 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 not raunchy. I think it's probably. Um, it's a, it's it's pretty. It gets I think emotional and a little dramatic. Yeah. What do you think, Dylan? I'd agree with that. I'd say it's like a solid R. Nothing crazy. Yeah. And not not a hard R. No. Yeah. Solid R. I could I could have played that cop in the opening. Scene. I know you could have. You would have been great. Yeah, you would have been great. So. Well, now we know. I think I was always thrown. Off. Are are they're British cops? No. No. There's no crime in England whatsoever. But in America, are there British cops? You can't have an accent. Well, yeah, actually, there are. I mean, I have. I just know the one from Bridesmaids. I don't. You know what? I've never come across an English American cop. Me neither. But military guys, I've, oh, I've, yeah. I've experienced it, ones who have come here and joined the military with the English accent. But cops. But it's always a first. It could be new. It's right. a new thing. You're from New Jersey. Yeah. You know there is a a place called Jersey in England. I believe of that. And. The, and then hence when it came here it was New Jersey. Most and the most city towns and names have originally come from England. Not, I don't know if that's good or not. But. Pasadena. Bakersfield. <laughs> yeah, New Pasadena. San Francisco. <laughs> okay, smart. Max and I both stayed in California, which I really appreciate. <laughs> um no, I know I've noticed that. Um I uh I, I happen to love England. I've had nothing but really. I have a friend there who's a radio host named Zoe Ball. You know uh, her? She's really talented. She's a presenter. Is she a big shot? I think so. She's really good at her job and she loves music and she's really passionate about it. Well, who have you been listening to lately, music wise? I like uh, I like SZA a lot. SZA? Yeah. But I really like. I like indie band, right? No, it's it's a woman. It's a really good woman. She's amazing. <laughs> That's what I said. A really good woman. A really and, good woman uh, from the... <laughs> I love this girl, Mitski, M I T S K I, and she was very influential in the writing and making of Flower. We listen to her music. Oh. She Sound... follows me on Twitter. She does? It's the coolest thing Can I you about me. Reach out to her? Yeah, but her bio says she doesn't respond to DMs. Shit. <laughs> but just maybe in your timeline, she. Are we done? No, you swore again. Oh my gosh. So you're so relaxed in him. It's a lot of his latent anger. <sighs> 
I'm just not even that up. angry. I love Mitski, and um, she has this song called Your Best American Girl, which to me is like a modern day sort of Weezer song in a weird way. Did you have to spend a lot of money on music in yeah. your movie? Yeah, I'm proud of the music. The music's good. We had an amazing music supervisor who cut deals in a way that I've never witnessed, um, who'd done all of the Eastbound and Down um, and Vice Principals. He's, yeah. He knows more about music than anyone I've ever met. Yeah. I'm friends with a lot of music nerds. Um, That's good. I like Angel Olsen a lot. Yeah. You like her? She's all right. Yeah. She's a redhead. Yeah. Is a she? Ginger. That's why you like her. Right. What do you listen to, Dylan? Yeah, Dylan. Um, I mostly just kind of sit in silence. Um, right. You just read books. I just read novels. Sorrow and the Pity on tape. <laughs> I, I have a I have a book out. Yeah. You'll never you'll never read it. Why not? I don't know. What's it called? Lonely Boy. Is that that's real? A good title. Is yeah. it your memoir? Yeah. That's really cool. Did you identify as a lonely boy? Yeah. Oh. You need microphones to feel comfortable talking to people? No. Text. Doesn't help. Text. I have to text people. Oh, okay. No, never mind. We would be here for you if you ever wanted us to. Like, you can plug in both of our numbers. Yeah? I'd love to hang out with you, yeah. Okay. That's a great title. Is it about your whole yeah. life? Yeah. From very young to kind of now. That's a great title. I did an audio for it too. Oh, great! That I really like to listen to audiobooks. I just finished uh, the Power Broker, which took me three years. So maybe now it's time to transition. Mm. To I started Art of the Deal. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? We got another song. Another song. What we got? Oh yeah, we're gonna play um, "Born to Lose" by the Heartbreakers. Johnny Funders is Heartbreakers. This is a, a different. This is a. This one's really good. It's really mixed. They mixed it again, and the reason I know that is because it was in the Johnny Funders documentary. We're here with Max Winkler and Dylan Galula from uh, Max directed the movie Flower, and Dylan is one of the actors in it. Johnny Funders.
You've been listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Cal OS. That was uh, Johnny Funders and the Heartbreakers, a new, a better version of the original LM, L-A-M-F album, and that was Born to Lose. Beautiful. Um, we're knocking it on the head. Max Winkler, thanks for coming by. Can I just say, I thought of one more band I really like. Who? Uh, it's this new uh, band called Soccer Mommy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think you would really like it, Dylan. Okay. Yeah. I thought of one, The Beatles. Oh, yeah, they're good, too. They're, they're all right. Dylan DeLula. Sure. <laughs> Ish. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for coming by. Thank you for having me. That was fun. We loved being here. You did? Yeah, you, you did. I don't think. No, I, she did. She this did. is the most I've seen her open up. Yeah, no, this is the most I've her. smiled since uh, my parents died. <laughs> <laughs> read my book. I would love to. You ain't going to read it. I will. She will. I'm, she I'm old. She's not interested in it. Yeah, she is. She just said she was reading. Um, yeah, what? I said old... I loved the Beatles. She just read Joan Didion. How old is she? Younger than you. Mm. Just kidding. I think you're right. She's older. Have you seen her documentary? Who? Joan Didion's. Who's Joan Didion? The center won't hold. It won't. Isn't Who's it is? Jen Didion? Uh, Joan Didion is a writer. Uh, she was a journalist and she writes. And this is who you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And there's a great documentary. Um, I like documentaries. Yeah, it's on Netflix. It's really good. Her nep- I think Griffin Dunn directed it. Uh, yeah, I'm halfway through the one um, um, about um, Wild... wild. Me too. Oh, dude. And we should have talked I, I about was into earlier. it 20 minutes, so don't feel bad. I only saw 20 minutes of your movie. I'm only 20 minutes okay. of that one, too. Okay, good. But I know it's going to be good. I'm going to watch the rest of yours, too. You can, but you also, you should watch it just to see how it ties into Wild Wild Country. Yeah. Because the guy the comes parallel. in at the end. Yeah. yeah. It takes place in the universe of Wild Wild Country. Yeah, very much so. It's like the Marvel universe. It's good. Shovel, what you got? This portion of Jonesy's Jukebox brought to you by Orkin. And right now we're going to give away those tickets to The Darkness, who are playing at the Fonda on Thursday. So we have a pair for caller 20 at 800-955-KLOS, French by Golden Voice. I'll see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye-bye.